Alright, what's up everybody? It's Craig here. Hey, I'm going to uh, do a review of some uh, Cydia apps. Um, some, you know, the jailbreak's been out for a couple weeks now, so I think it's time to uh, do some reviews on some new tweaks uh, since all the developers have been updating their stuff to iOS 6. Um, right off the bat, I just want to hit because you're going to notice um, that I'm going to do it with my computer screen, so I just want to show you that uh, um, this app right here is Vinci. Uh, you got to download that with Cydia. And then also the program that you need to run on your computer is uh, Real VNC. And then you'll be able to do this, as you see. And then also the other one I'm going to be using when you see a picture with uh, an app that I've downloaded, that's called Preview Maker. All right, now I'm going to show you Barrel. Okay, and that's going to be one where uh, you're going to see the crazy gestures as you scroll. I have it on random, okay? But as you see in Barrel, right here, there's all kinds of different gestures you can choose. So that's Barrel. The other one is what you just saw, is every time you launch, see that little... Uh, it looked like a TV tube, and then I, right there, I just closed it, and so it sucked it down. And then if you look, when I switch between two, there's a little ripple effect. See a little ripple effect? And that one is called Display Candy. Um, IntelliScreen X is by Intelliborn, and it's basically a notification screen center uh, on steroids. So if I swipe down, it looks like a normal notification screen. But if you pull down a little more, you start to reveal some layers here. And uh, if you notice, if I go right, I got uh, and you can add more stuff to your, um, uh, this is called your top shelf, more toggles and stuff like that. And I go more, and you can brighten your screen. And then I go left. So pretty cool. Got RSS feed. Got weather. Um, and then if I go this way, there's my RSS feed. And see, see down bottom, you see those uh, these little um, little red dots and green dots. Well, that's a page I'm on. But <clears throat> basically, this is my email. This is my uh, notification screen, and this is my Facebook. So if I go left, there's my email. Go right, and there's my Facebook. So pretty cool. I, I know it seems kind of laggy, but that's that VNC I was talking about earlier. So that's IntelliScreen X, pretty cool. All right, next one we're going to talk about is let me get this out of the way is um, Action Menu, and uh, so basically, uh, if I uh, it will select all, we'll copy it, and watch this. So as you see, we got a uh, we got an arrow now, and we can go that way. We can look at the history. Okay, see how you got a history of pasting. It's basically like uh, copying to a clipboard. So pretty cool uh, actions menu. Pretty cool app. I ain't gonna go into it too much. Next one we're gonna talk about is Activator. All right, Activator is um, pretty cool. It's uh, you can personalize your um, home button and make it uh, if you see you can double press long hold short hold and you can assign tasks to it so it's pretty cool and that's it on that I'm gonna go into alright next one really cool app it's a new app um, some new developers that are out and they're uh, making some pretty cool new stuff but it's called OXO and um, if you see alright let's have a look check this out Alright, so I have OXO working in conjunction with Switchy. So you see how there's more room down at the bottom. That's uh, because of Switchy. Um, OXO would still have just a single line of stuff. But um, it's almost like a droid where it kind of gives you a preview of where you left off. And to close it, you just swipe each one down. And then they go away. And not only that, they just don't stop there. If you scroll left, OK, 
okay we, we know about this the um, iPod but if you scroll more left check this out they give you a bunch of toggles and you can set them up exactly how you want and if you look you scroll down some more and they're there really really cool stuff see is my flashlight my personal hotspot my Wi-Fi and then right below is a screen brightening tool and uh, really really cool OXO I love this app iBlacklist is really cool I love it uh, a little expensive at like $12.99 but if you have uh, maybe some telemarketers or or crazy ex-girlfriend or whatever you got uh, you just throw them on the blacklist here general blacklist you just hit the add button and say uh, um, we'll say we'll make a number up here or there we go there we go there we go all right so I added that um, and you can send them to your voicemail you can send them to big busy signal you can do whatever you want but also you can send a reply message saying like hey screw you whatever um, and so the whole time it will not bother your phone but it will go to this uh, it, will, it will go to a history and you just click on your history and you can see when they called you can even see their text messages it's just none of it bothers your phone it all stays in that app it's pretty cool I love this app um, I file if you're into themes and getting all kinds of different themes um, there's some themes like have weather lock screens or something like that where you actually got to go in and paste maybe a Yahoo code or something like that to get the Yahoo weather on there stuff like that but even so um, there's one key feature in iFile that's big and every single picture or movie you ever send in a message uh, in your text messages it gets saved on your phone and you can't get it off and you see your other space growing and growing and growing even though you've erased all of it from uh, you've erased all your messages but if you go to iFile and I've just recently erased them so they'll probably be gone but if you go to iFile and if you look if you go to var mobile library SMS and attachments there'll be a bunch of attachments in there and uh, there's you can actually just hold one of them and then select all and then delete them all and that will free up a ton of space on your device watch your other space and iTunes go down tremendously after you do that so pretty cool with iFile alright InfiniDoc InfiniDoc is badass okay I like the 5 icon dock for a while but the thing with i 5 icon dock is that it only gives you 5 and you know there's always at least like 10 or you know 8 to 10 um, you know things you want to have at your dock and stuff like that well with InfiniDock you have as many as you want and so down bottom you see I got uh, you know my phone my messages uh, my calendar my mail and then if I just scroll right I got more I got my mail my Facebook uh, photography a reminder so you can put as many as you want and just scroll right or left so pretty cool InfiniDoc alright I S H S H I T that's a mouthful but anyway um, I S H S H I T is I think is the easiest way to save your S H S H blobs via Cydia um, and basically it's as easy as downloading this app and I believe it's free I'm pretty sure it's free um, downloading this app and then you just click via Cydia see it checked it and just click save and then it saves it to the Cydia server now if you don't know what this is don't worry about it just do it and then when you want to get regel broke if you accidentally upgrade there'll be downgrade videos that will come out and you'll need this SHSH blob to downgrade so just do it even if you don't know what you're doing and then once you do and you open Cydia you'll see up top it'll say your firmware that you're on in green see see how it says SHSH iOS 6 that 6.1 that means Cydia has it in their server saved for you if you need it so pretty cool I think it's the easiest way to save SHSH blobs alright my why my why is um, even though you know some people have like I got Verizon and they let me use my um, personal hotspot free so because it just counts towards my data but 
Um, I use my Y anyway just because it's easier you know, user interface it's just right there you can choose what you want how you want to use your personal hotspot and it's really easy and if you don't have the tiered system and you have one of the unlimited plans and you want to use your uh, my Y as a personal hotspot and then it'll keep you on the down low from AT&D or Verizon or whoever you got and well this is you have to get you know just pay the twenty dollar one time fee and you're able to use your uh, device as a personal hotspot so pretty cool and that's my why twenty bucks but well worth it now playing on stats is pretty cool because uh... if you see i'm gonna start playing a song okay and then i'm at my home screen and if you see in the top it's gonna tell me what song and who, what band's playing so i think it's pretty cool kinda just gives you a little status now playing status so I think it's cool and that's it on that I'm a open SSH alright open SSH is uh, extremely crucial to uh, communicating with your device with outside uh, it, things like if you want to do this uh, VNC thing and if you want to uh, tap into your eye uh, your eye device, whatever it is, with a uh, FTP, then you're going to need this open SSH. It's free. Just download it. Again, even if you don't know what you're doing, just download it. There, um, it says iReal SMS. Um, I like iReal SMS. Uh, a lot of people like Byte SMS, but um, Byte SMS is an app in itself. And if you see, iReal SMS just takes over your message app. So it's pretty cool. And if you open it, you will see it's just like a uh, an email almost. You got folders over here, and there's your inbox and send and outbox and templates. You can make some templates and uh, send it to people. You know, already pre-made and everything. Um, settings. You know, you got advanced uh, features and stuff like that. And you get this to set up with um, activator. So if I press the home button three times, see it. Uh, pretty cool you can do a quick send and uh, a lot of features I really alright photo albums plus photo album plus pretty cool because if you see um, uh, I'm at my camera roll right now and if I want I can add a uh, uh, album and you see a little lock in the top right I can put it on password lock so little cool little tweak uh, you can uh, password lock some uh, photo albums if you don't want somebody seeing them so I think it's a pretty cool tweet PKG backup I won't go into this too much because I have a video on PKG backup but with PKG backup uh, it's extremely crucial if you want to save your city of stuff exactly the way you want it so if you have to restore your device or whatever all you gotta do is download this first and it restores exactly everything the way it was so I love this app PKG backup alright 3G unrestrictor 3G unrestrictor is pretty cool um, if you want to throw things in there as you see uh, with FaceTime uh, photo stream uh, camera with photo stream your app store your um, 50 megabytes is what you're limited to so Skype, um, basically if you want to throw things in there, and basically what it does is it fools your phone into think it's, a, it's on Wi-Fi connection if you're on cellular. Um, just be mindful of uh, your cellular data, but uh, basically that's what it does is uh, there's some apps out there that l limit you to Wi-Fi only, and this will fool your phone and think it's on Wi-Fi. All you do is just add, just hit edit, add an app, and then you just add it. So that's 3G unrestrictor. And then last I'm going to go into is Zeppelin. In Zeppelin, if you see up top, right here, um, instead of having Verizon or AT&T, you can put little uh, icons and stuff like that and just kind of personalize your phone a little more. That's all I'm going to touch on that, but uh, cool little tweak. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. I uh, hope you liked my uh, video of uh, some city apps and tweaks to download since the new iOS 6 evasion jailbreak has come out. Uh, just like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate everything. Uh, appreciate your interest in my videos, and that's all I got. Peace out. Later.